Hey, what's up guys? Nils here and welcome back to another video. So, last night after finishing that video that I posted, I kept playing this game and I advanced to the last world. Now we're currently on the world that's second to last and that is due to the fact that we're not strong enough yet to do anything on the last world. So, the best thing that I could have done is just let this guy overnight here to farm elixirs so we can upgrade our team. And this is kind of what our team looks right now. Now, Asta is the secret from this map right here. And I guess we can just go there in case you are wondering. And I can show you what's up there. So, if you go like all the way here to the left side of the map, you need to jump on this uh, side island, part of the island, whatever. And then if you jump here, here is the secret egg for Asta, which you can grab but um now we have plenty of these elixirs so we have 87 quadrillion right now and i'm gonna go ahead and just get one grimoire i think uh it's a good money spent even though it's like 10 quadrillion we're just gonna buy one of them hopefully we're gonna get a good one and right let's have a look at what we got we actually got the mythical grimoire okay that's probably the best case scenario that we could have gotten i think so money well spent or elixir well spent and with the rest of these 77 quadrillions we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna buy the best secret unit that's in the game right now so i'm gonna teleport to sword art and i'm just gonna go ahead and climb the trees so i can exit the castle and i'll show you in a second guys where the secret egg is for uh, the last map yeah, we made it out nice you just have to go like here on the outskirts of the island, so just barely like touching on the edge and it's in one of these like uh, peaks, corners. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna open here until we open up everything on these Kiritos and I'll see you guys once we are done opening everything. Alright guys, so we have opened everything and let's go ahead and reset our characters so we can go back to the starting area and let's see what we actually shot and how many we can turn into shiny. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25. Okay, that's uh, pretty good, I would say. We wanna do seven. I guess we can, if we can gobble six, we could probably fit one more. Like we can do six and five. Shiny successful. And do you guys think we should do it? Or should we wait? I say we do it, let's do it. Nice, we actually got it. Amazing. So let's click a quick best right here. And these are our curators right now, 19.5. But once we go ahead over here to the camp island and where is it? Is this? Okay, this one. Here we go. So once we go here and we turn them all into elites, I think we should be having 195. There we go, all heroes are max elite. And they're actually 182. But now the difference is, guys, that this is a 182, but it's elite. And this is 182, but it's a divine. Which means that uh, this one can get doubled. So you can tell the difference. And you already see the difference in gems, right? That's 250 gems on the new ones. And that's 200 gems on the old ones. So let's go and have a look on how much we actually need in terms of elixirs, which I would assume that it's going to be a lot of elixirs. And if you guys know it, feel free to let me know. But I think there's no boost for elixirs, unless this one affects it, but um, I'm kind of scared to use it. But uh, if you guys know for a fact, let me know. OK, so we need oof, we need almost one quadrillion for uh, each one of these. So we would need in total four quadrillion to just turn them all into divines. Or four. So we're gonna head back to the island and I'm just gonna farm a little bit more of elixir and we'll pick it off there. Alright guys, so we've turned every single one of them into a divine right now and there you have it. So we have four of these divine caritas now, 364 million and we grew definitely much stronger. So our power right now has risen to 36 QN. I guess for comparison I should have showed how much I had before. So now that we have strong units, let's go ahead and teleport back to the camp island and let's see how much the next aura costs. Which I don't entirely remember, so 
go ahead and have a look and 6.5 n that will take a while i think one n is a thousand o's so this should definitely take a while and i believe guys at this point the goal should be to just uh, start training and doing reverts so that you can actually get to use these amazing machines here because right now we're not really using anything so this one requires one s total reverts i have a an s24 sx so we are good to go with this one but um i believe i cannot use this one yet i think it requires 150 yeah it does so currently i have only 24 so i believe uh this is what we should work on towards just uh start using these So instead we are just gonna go back to ferry and we're gonna go to this uh, time street training area and we're gonna try to farm these uh, nillions or I don't know what they're called like the number scaling is just too big at this point and one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is that um, when you go here to the rivers not every single like river actually works worth investing in like for example you see here so we use 15 SX for 5 rivers and 1.30 knee right and now this is triple the amount and the rewards are around triple but if you look at this one this one is like pretty much twice as much as the previous one but that being said if you compare the rewards like you go from 15 sx normally it was supposed to be 30 like 35 maybe instead it's 75 and the gems are going from 3n to 17n so you have just have to look at what the best rebirth value is because sometimes you just get a lot more by waiting a little bit more so i'm just gonna camp out here a little bit until we gather enough of this uh, energy and we're gonna pop at 190. all right guys so i popped an energy boost here and i spent like a 15 minutes or so yeah it's actually 15 and we have a lot a lot of gems now so i guess we can go back and see what we can grab from the aura shop and after that we we'll probably should go back to the river so i think that's the game plan for now so let's just first of all go to the camp island and see what we can buy so as you can see i even passed the n currency and we'll wave past that so we can get this one, we can get this one, and probably this one as well. No, that's a 9.5D, okay, so this one is going to take a while, but we got two of the auras, so we jumped from pretty much this, 120 to 180 multiplier, that's 50% more. And I think it's time to start doing uh, rebirths at this point. Uh, excuse me, not rebirths, the prestigious rankings, as it's called in this game. Now guys, one tip that I want to give you, in case you might not know, so as we said earlier, whenever you come here and you press purchase, everything gets reset, like all of your currency. So you have here this guild, and if you go here, you can actually deposit your currencies, and you lose like 15% when you withdraw that, right? But I don't think that matters because you still gain more than what you would like lose, per se. So we're gonna go ahead and do 793, zero 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 okay we have to type a lot of zeros unsp oh wait we still need more okay 793 n looks good so we're gonna deposit the gems in well i am a little bit stupid as well we had an old button and we're gonna deposit our elixirs as well and now we're gonna go farm some energy for uh this one 6.5 sp that should be pretty easy to do honestly Go ahead and teleport back to Perry. I didn't make it. So this is, this is a little bit hard of a jump to make. I think the only reason people don't fail it is because you like you go left and right just like I did. So if you practice it a little bit, you can consistently do it. Unlike me, where I'm failing it every single time. Okay. I I don't think we're gonna do this again. This is way too time consuming. But in case you're wondering, it is possible to do it. I just suck, plain and simply. So let's go for 6.5 SP and we can start ranking up. All right, guys, after a little bit of farming, we finally got enough 
energy to purchase the platinum so there we go we are just gonna go ahead and unlock it and this one is gonna take probably forever so i feel like we did a lot of progress since last night so i think my next step right now is i should probably just afk and like stack my entire team with these people up i think that's the best play and then i can continue on going for the next ranks because it just like goes out of control like it took me roughly 20 minutes to get 6.5 sp and the next rank is at 950 but um anyway guys as always if you enjoyed make sure to click the like and subscribe button and i will see you guys all on the next one where hopefully i will have a completely stacked team ready to go for the new boss in the last map take care